Peter, major auto insurers are pulling back in the California marketplace. They say we are just too expensive to insure, but the state's insurance commissioner says that's not true. Christine Lazar is here now to explain. So, uh, more expensive, more uh, less access, I should say, to insurance. And I'm calling, calling you know what? Yeah, I mean, look, it's he said, she said, mm -hmm. as with many things. Uh, the good thing is, here in California, we're a very consumer friendly state. So I will say, before any rate hikes go through, there's the checks and balances. So okay, that is good. there. Yep. Now, Californians are driving about as much as they were before the pandemic, but we apparently aren't driving as well. Auto accidents are up. And I can confirm that by what I've seen. We on see the that road. every morning on traffic. And some insurers say they are paying out more than they are taking in. But the insurance commissioner says the facts just don't support their claims. It's getting more expensive to cover drivers across the country, according to the insurance industry. From 2020 to 2021, auto insurance losses spiked 25%, while premiums rose only about 4.5%, according to the American Property Casualty Insurance Association. You know, the cost to run a car is up 33%. The cost for a new vehicle is up 11%. And here in California, some insurers haven't seen a rate increase approved by the insurance commissioner in over three years. So what we've seen is that you have insurers who are paying out more in claims than they're taking in in premiums. That's not a sustainable business model. California is a very consumer friendly state and insurers must have any rate hike approved. State Farm Auto is asking the Department of Insurance for a nearly 7% premium increase. Same with all state and farmers. Progressive, more than 19%. This local agent says insurers are now making it harder for him to get drivers new auto policies. They might ask you to pay in full instead of having a payment plan. Right now, all of the carriers that I can even think of off the top of my head have restrictions. They literally say, don't write, please. Geico has closed all of its California offices. Progressive has stopped advertising in the state. State Farm, you can no longer get quotes by calling them. You have to go to an agent's office. But a spokesperson for the insurance commissioner says while insurance companies are focused on increasing rates, the Department of Insurance is focused on protecting drivers and helping them get the most value from the premiums they pay. And the commissioner's office points out that the commissioner saved Californians $2.4 billion in reduced premiums during the height of the COVID stay-at-home order when the industry still raked in about a collective $24 billion in excess premiums. Uh, the Department of Insurance also says all the big insurers still made a profit in 2021, although they do say their 2022 numbers are not out. But at the end of the day, look, we're going to start seeing increases. That's just going to happen. How large they are and how widespread they are, that's yet to be the seen. Insurance these ever not make a profit? No, it's a racket. I mean, yeah. that's that's the biggest mistake I ever made was getting into this job and not opening an insurance company. <laughs> well, they say that they are not pulling in as much as they're putting out because we're apparently terrible drivers. Okay, which well, we are. We well, all need to drive I, slower. I guess I can't argue with yeah. that. Yeah, either. we can't argue. And with look, that. at the end of the day, I'll tell you this: when we drive slower and we drive better, we all save. So let's just be safe. So pay attention and slow yes. down, everybody. And then they won't have a reason to say that you know Californians are just really bad drivers. There you go, Christine. Come thank up you. With a different reason. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>